Good morning, Comets. I'm Jacob. And I'm Avery. We hope you've had a good week. Starting off this week, we have a few updates for you guys. Look in your school emails for sign-ups for the blood drive, which is taking place October 30th. Also, look out for a table outside student services to place your grad orders in person if you don't want to do it online. Giving us a break from our updates, here's Brendan with sports. Hey Comets, welcome to sports. I'm your host, Brendan. The varsity football team played at home last Friday against Lapeer. It fought hard but lost 42-28 to and will have a makeshift bye week this week thanks to Okemos. The boys soccer team won the Silver Cup final last Thursday bringing home the trophy and had their first district game last night against Holt. The volleyball stayed home on Tuesday against Okemos and lost and also traveled to Everett yesterday evening. Boys and girls cross country ran yesterday at East Lansing and will also run on Saturday morning at Ledge Meadows. And to wrap it up, Girls Swim stayed home yesterday facing Holt. This week on End Zone to End Zone, let's serve it over to Bella and hear varsity tennis player Braylon Price answer some questions. All right, today we're here with varsity tennis player Braylon Price. Are you ready for some questions? Yes. When did you start playing tennis? Sophomore year. What is your best memory that you've had from playing tennis? Um, it was my first year in tennis and I got to play a singles match and I won against DeWitt. Hmm. What were you thinking when you won Homecoming King? Uh, <laughs> I actually had to stop myself from crying, actually. <laughs> <gasps> what got you into musicals? Uh, I like dancing, but I never took classes, so I thought, why not? And I just learned along the way. And, yeah. What's been your favorite musical that you've been in? Legally Blunt. Mm -mm, good one. Do you put on both of your socks and then your shoes, or do you do one sock and then a shoe, and then one sock and then a shoe? Both socks and then my shoes. All right, and lastly, can you show me your best Irish moves real quick? <laughs> Do I remember this? Okay. Ah, the crowd goes wild! That was amazing. All right, are you ready to kick a field goal? Yeah. You know, in my eyes, I'd count that as a goal for you. Thanks, Bella. You're welcome. <laughs> Who do you want to see next week on End Zone End Zone? Josie Parrish. All right, Josie, you're up. Thank you. Avery, do you know what I've been craving so much recently? What? A pumpkin spice muffin. Mm, I do not like those. Pumpkin spice lattes are so much better. I wonder what our comet's like. What's your favorite pumpkin spice thing? Uh, pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, an iced chai latte with pumpkin sauce and pumpkin pie. Uh, pumpkin spice latte. Probably the candles. What's your favorite pumpkin spice thing? Uh, pumpkin pie. Cookies. Pumpkin spice pie. Pumpkin spice candles. Probably pumpkin spice uh, coffee. I like the pumpkin spice creamer that you can put in like your coffee and stuff. Uh, probably pumpkin spice bread from Great Harvest. Thank you. I love pumpkin spice and the atmosphere of fall that it brings. I know, me too. But I never know what to do during fall season. I think Maddie has some ideas for you. Hey Comets, it's Maddie back this week with What's Trending. Let's see what's in. You have to start your fall off right this year by getting your cider and donuts at Uncle John's Cider Mill. You should also start off this scary season by visiting some haunted houses. I suggest going to Darkside Acres, Hush, and Terran 27. All are open Fridays and Saturdays. To continue your thrills, Cedar Point will be having Halloween weekends all this month, so I hope you're ready to be screaming all October. For my more homebodies, you gotta check out the trailer to the new Super Mario Bros. movie coming out this April. Last but not least, if you are wanting to get gassed up, download the new app Gas to see what's going on. That's all I have for you this week. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, Comets. Thank you, guys. I love fall, but I love popcorn even more. Have you heard about our spirit days at the school store? You can get it free popcorn. No? How do I participate? I don't know. Let's find out. Make sure you guys wear your Hawaiian gear on October 21st to get a free small bag of popcorn. Alright, we're now introducing a customer of the week. If you come in a lot and we notice that, we're going to give you guys a free small bag of popcorn. Thank you. Make sure to wear your Hawaiian shirt next Friday to get free popcorn at the student store. Hey, have you been seeing those people around the school handing out newspapers? Yeah, who are they? Comet's Tale. You've never heard of them? Not really. Let's learn some more. I'm editor-in-chief. I go through the everybody's articles and edit them and make sure they're perfect before they get published. 
I am a section editor for the Comet's Tale newspaper, meaning I write all kinds of articles, but I edit specifically current events, news, and features. I am co-editor-in-chief with my awesome friend Isabella. I love advising the newspaper staff because it's a mostly student-led class. So they choose the stories, they conduct the interviews, and they design all of their publications. So it's really a chance for them to get to express their own ideas and hear the voices of the people that matter to them and their student body and really express their own creativity. We got a lot of stuff going on for our fall season. We've got our fall publication coming out at the end of October, so look in there if you like all that fall related news. We've got a lot of stuff in there about school board elections. Um, and this year we're trying something new. We're putting in Halloween trivia into our publication, so definitely check that out. Um, also related to our print publication, if you are an artist or, have a, or know anyone that is an artist, um, we are looking for someone to draw our cover. We also have a podcast coming out that same week as the print publication. Um, you can listen to that for all of our news updates, article plugs, and I believe we're having a debate on it about Be Real. So definitely tune in for that. We're on all of them except TikTok, which we're working on. But um, yeah, we're on all of them. You can find us at, at GL Comets Tale on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you. For the month of October, the school will be wearing pink on Tuesdays for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. On October 25th, during third hour, change will be collected, and if we raise $1,000, then Dr. Wright will dye his hair pink. Also, another reminder that Mama Mia tickets are currently on sale and are selling out quick, so make sure to get yours at geomusicals.net. That's all we have this week. Make sure to follow us at GeoComet TV on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you for watching. See ya!